Hello, welcome to a new weekly, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Nicola, if you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. So, it's Saturday, Saturday, and I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> I've got, because um, I have bursitis in both of my hips, and my left hip today, I'm telling you, I woke up and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's going all down my leg. And you think, oh, that sounds like sciatica. No, it's not. It's down the side and around the front. It's from the bursitis in my hip. Oh, it's so painful. So I've taken an aproxen. And also, yesterday, I managed to do a workout that I haven't done. Was it yesterday or the day before? One of them. I did a little yes to next workout from YouTube, which are very manageable. And there was a simple, simple exercise. Um, I think it was either cooling down or warming up. I think it was warming up. And you just roll, I won't do it, but rolling your shoulders if you, you know, like rolling your shoulders round. And I just did that simple exercise and I felt my shoulder go. And I'm like, for goodness sake, it's, it's a perfectly safe exercise to do. But yet my body decided, no, that's going to mess me up. <laughs> so I've got shoulder in the right, hip in the left. I'm doing ever so well. <laughs> Great start to the week. Anyway, enough about my aches and pains. Mark is at work until I don't know when today. We are going out later with friends for drinks at a pub. Not that I really want to drink, because we had a couple of drinks last night, as we do Friday night, as you know. Friday night drinks and snacks, and they didn't agree with me and my stomach, so <laughs> I'm feeling a bit like I don't actually really want to go out and have more drinks. <laughs> I've put a poll on Instagram actually asking what outfit you think I should wear. I just I want to go in this. I mean, it's only a pub. I just can't, you know, like when you get dressed at the beginning of the day and you think, oh, I know it's going to get to the end of the day and I'm going to be like, I can't be bothered to dress up to go <laughs> But we shall see. We shall see if I get changed or not and we're just staying this. Okay, so while Mark's at work, I am going to do some craft this morning. And I also want to watch the new Downton Abbey film that's on Netflix, A New Era. So I'm definitely going to watch that today. So the first thing I'm going to do, I got this out yesterday. This, oh, this is what Poppy bought me for Mother's Day, which is a paint by numbers. It's huge. Look, you can see by my hand, it's massive. So it's going to take me ages to do this. And there is the picture of what it's going to look like, hopefully, she says. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so it tells you as well, which I've not had on a paint num by numbers before, the different ways they want you to paint. So it's like blending and different things. So I've got to do that as well. But it comes in this like vacuum packed <laughs> packet and you think that doesn't look enough paint for all of that. But hopefully it is because otherwise I'm stuffed. And then I've got this pack of three brushes and two really fine ones which I'm really pleased about and some fixings there if you want to hang it up afterwards I've got my little pot of water and then this side oh yeah Chloe and Luke if you're watching skip forward this bit please so this side I've got this heart that I am going to wood burn for Chloe and Luke's wedding as a little favour I'm going to try and would burn their names and their wedding date on there so I've got my wood burn it's not on that's why it's just like that at the moment as you can see it's not plugged in so I'm going to attempt to do that later if I get a chance Mark sister if you're watching can you skip forwards please <laughs> then I am going to carry on with decorating a glass for Mark's sister's 50th which isn't till December but I thought I might as well do it now, if I get a chance. If I don't, I'll do it another day. And I've got to wrap up my stepmum's birthday presents because it's her birthday next week. I've got a busy week coming up. 
busy week. So Monday, I'm going out with my friend Michelle. You've seen her in vlogs before. We're going to go and film something for you, which has been highly requested, actually. And it's a supermarket shop. So I'm doing two. The one I'm doing on Monday is going to be the clothes. So I'm going to go to, like, Asda, Tesco and Sainsbury's, if I can manage all three. <laughs> and look at the clothes and compare them and that sort of thing then on another separate occasion i will go to the same supermarkets and look at their homeware and compare that that would be interesting so that's monday and then tuesday is just pure visiting day i've got to visit my dad i've got to visit my mum oh mum's having a drain out on monday as well hopefully fingers crossed because there's not much coming or hardly anything coming out of it now which is great thursday as usual editing whatever and then friday i think we're going to go and pick poppy up because she's coming home for easter so i have a busy week ahead so i need all the spoons that you can send me <laughs> anyway let's let's chat and let's get on with some of this and i'll show you what i've done in a bit because yeah it says start at the top and work down right i'll do that then a few moments later right that's as far as i've got for the moment but my neck is really painful so i'm going to have a rest from that i'm going to do the heart now um and then i might sit and watch downton abbey and finish well carry on doing lisa's glass right chloe and luke don't watch this next bit. <laughs> Don't want to ruin the surprise. Here we go. So I've burnt their names in. And then I've put the date of the wedding on the back because I couldn't fit it on here. But I think that's quite cute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this ribbon because that's the colour well I don't know the exact colour of her bridesmaids but I know her bridesmaids are like burnt orange so I'm going to keep this bit of um ribbon in there as well because that's pretty but I'm going to add some of this just to add the orange to it I decided to get rid of this bit because it, it looks a bit odd having both of them but there we go that's all ready it will go together with their other heart I made, I don't know if I showed you, because I'm trying not to show Chloe and Luke at the same time, but this is the other one I made. I think it's so pretty. Look at it. So that's what I'm going to give Chloe as favours on her wedding day. Welcome right. back, welcome back. <laughs> we are on our way to a garden centre. It's for a change. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Unlike us. Well, it's um, Simon's birthday soon, so I need to go and buy him a present. And there's something else I need to get as well. So we're going to go there first, then we're going to go into town, because I still haven't got Holly an Easter egg. So I don't know if I told you, but the only Easter egg she wanted was a pistachio one from Waitrose, and it was £14, typical. But I went there, sold out. Went online, sold out. So it's obviously very popular because people are trying to flog it for 35 quid on eBay. But I'm not doing that. I'm going to go to Hotel Chocolat because she also likes dark chocolate and they've got a dark chocolate egg for £10 in there. So I might go and get that. So that's where we're heading now. Sun's come out again. It was absolutely pouring down earlier. But hopefully it will stay sunny for us. Let's hope. You never know. You never know. Look at that set up. Oh, I like these, look. <laughs> Buzzy bee. They are 5.99. I think their middles light up as well. They come in all different colours. Oh, that's cute. Could have a frog with a ball on its head. I love that. Hot air balloons. 50 pounds. I love that. Look at these fairies. They've got like a magnet on the bottom. 7 99 with the fairy door. These are really pretty as well. I like her black boots. Last one. That would take up our whole patio, wouldn't it? It is lovely. 
I like the canopy as well at the top. Love these jugs. Look at the pattern on that. I really like that. Ten pounds, it's not too bad. Lovely. We're in the works now. Oh, I love those. They're so pretty. I think I might have to get them for my scrapbooking. If I can get them off. Look how pretty they are. They're pretty as well. Different tapes. Pearly ones. Got flowers. They're very eastery, aren't they? You get quite a lot in there, 40 for two pounds. How do they stick on? I don't know, they don't stick on. I don't think they're flat. I just said to Mark, look at the sky, <laughs> look at it. Mark said, don't look at it. Right, next stop, card shop. All right, we've got tea. I thought you were having summer fruit. Yeah, I changed your mind. Oh, you changed your mind, did you? <laughs> look at this, oh, it's a hot plate. And Mark's got a scone, fruit scone, and I've got a Mars bar and caramel cupcake. Nice. <laughs> right, ready to go out. Well, as ready as I'll ever be. So this is the outfit I've gone with. I went with the Instagram poll, and it's just this little top. I have no idea where it's from. I think it's from Next. It's very old Next. And it's sort of got this glittery detail on it with just my little black cardigan and went with a dark lip and then i've got my long boots on that are like a mushroomy color so and my jeggings <laughs> so we're ready to go and have some drinks good morning happy sunday fun day we are off out today to see my dad to start with and see how he's getting on. My sister saw him yesterday, so it's my turn to go today. And then we're going to a place called Felixstowe, where it's a seaside town. We're gonna I'll test out the scooter, my Super Grover, and make sure that's okay after it had the service. Um, we're gonna go to the market, we're gonna have some fish and chips, we're going to go on the pier, we're going to do all those things. Of course you're coming along with us. Yeah, so that's that's today's plan. Um, we got we didn't get back too late last night. I think we got a taxi about 11ish and got back just after. We stayed in the lounge for a bit and then went to bed, but then we got woken up this morning at half past 6 by our car alarm going off. And then we couldn't go back to sleep, so that was nice. Great laying for a Sunday, half past six, but there we are. Let's get ready to go and see Dad and then go to Felixstowe. We've arrived at Felixstowe, we've seen my dad. Very frustrated he was today, very frustrated. So it took a lot of reassurance and he's got a very sore mouth. We think he's got an infection in there, don't we? Oh, yeah, or something. So, yeah. He's had, he's got some treatment that they're putting in it. But anyway, let me show you. This is where we're gonna go to the market down there in a little bit but we're gonna go and have our fish and chips first because we are starving it's 1.35 and we are hungry but here we are the sea is that way Mark's way <laughs> what is going on come on people we want our fish and chips don't you know hurry up what are they doing what is he trying to get in a space or something? Mm. Oh, jeez. Jeez, Louise, there's a car park up here. Use that. Oh, I forgot there's an adventure golf here. We've never done that, have we? I don't know. It's shut a week up down here, isn't it? They're probably still shut now. It says now open. Adults £4.50. Very busy. No. Very, very busy. Oh, what? Well, it is busy. Yeah. I thought you meant the golf. That's not busy. <laughs> That's quite dead, actually. That's quite cute, though. Right, we've just parked up. Mark's just going to get a ticket. Yeah, Dad was not good today. And when he's like that, it's just so sad to see him. And I don't blame him because he's been in there now 
over two weeks he said when he wants a wee someone has to walk with him because he's full and they're too busy so they've just given him a bottle to wee in well that's not very dignified is it when you can't he can't shut the curtains and he said the nurses are always too busy to do like he wanted to ask for a shower and they said they haven't got time it's just really frustrating for him he was so frustrated and he kept making these noises like as his oh like you know moaning noises and oh I just it broke my heart it really broke my heart and then he said about I don't see why I can't come home with one of the family and I said but dad no one's got the room like all their bedrooms are taken up I'll I would have had him at hours, but I don't know, one, if I could manage that physically. Yeah, it's just hard. Anyway. Oh, Mark's got the ticket. Let's go. Food. fish and half scampi, so it's not. I've got a glass of wine and a coke, I'm being greedy. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this. Right, we're getting Super Grover out. There he is. Oh yeah, we don't need the umbrella. We'll take that out and put that in the door. Ready? Kaplunk. We even got my basket today. Yeah, I've got my key. Don't you worry. It's working. Down here. Yeah, it might go over Yeah. It's been It looks like it. Beard manners. <laughs> They've got like little shops. These are new. And the market's at the back. Oh, look, Poppy would like all these. Three for ten pounds of Just chosen three of these signs. I'll show you what ones we've got. These are really cool as well. Look at these. They're so cool. I love them. Nice and blue water, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I reckon so. It's a nice view over there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Love the beach. I love it. The sun's come out for us as well. Yeah. <laughs> Smell the chips, can't you? Now we've eaten, we're like, ugh, don't want chips. <laughs> we just got one of these for my mum. Look how cool they are, look. The heads move. <laughs> They're so cool. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I just thought I'd show you those signs that I bought. I will show you. So we got, I really wanted the Ghostbusters one, but someone had picked it up and there was only one of them. But I got this Coca-Cola one that's like an American diner. I really loved that. They're metal and you just put them up by screws in the shed. So I'm gonna go and do that in a minute. <laughs> Look at this one, Prosecco. How classy people get shit-faced. <laughs> Had to get that. And then Mark chose this one, which is ice cold Budweiser, served here. So yeah, they're the three for ten pounds that we got. Um, and then, oh, I got Poppy some crisps because we're picking her up on Friday for Easter. So Easter week going to be a lot going on because Pops is here and we're going to try and do something each day so that's going to be one busy long vlog. <laughs> right let's go out and put these signs on the shed. There we go. I love them. There's the new signs. I think they look great. I was just saying to Mark in the summer when we get a nice day with no rain I'm going to try painting that with my acrylics and see if it comes up because a lot of the letters and the badge needs topping up. So I'm going to try that, but yeah, I really like them. I just think they look so cool. Good morning, it's just another manic Monday. Let me put you down, because you hurt my arms. <laughs> so, this morning I've woken up with a sore throat. My dad in hospital has got a cold and a cough because you, you just pick things up in there because it's so warm in there as well and there's no air circulating, you know. That's probably where I've got it from. But I am going to buy one of those first defence sprays. I used to have one, but I think I threw it out the last time I had a cold. So I'm going to buy one today and I'm going to buy some echinacea because I cannot afford to get ill like muggle sick at the moment. I have got too much on to get muggle sick, so I'm going to try everything I can to prevent it. So I'm going to take echinacea and get the nose spray and try and prevent this cold as much as I can. But I'm feeling pretty rubbish. I've had to put a lot of concealer on my bags under my eyes and I am going to take some paracetamol before I go out. This morning I am going out with my friend Michelle. We're going to film a supermarket shop with me for a Wednesday upload. I'm really looking forward to catching up with Michelle because I haven't seen her for a little while and we're going to have some lunch which I'll show you what we're having and yeah and then come back and collapse because tomorrow is a day of visiting. It is a day of visiting. I need to save all my spoons and my health for that. They're really cute, aren't they? I'm gonna get four them. pound for four carrots. carrots. Pound a carrot. Pound a carrot. Oh look, I was looking for some games. Bunny ring toss, three pound fifty. That looks quite cool. Egg hunt kit, we don't really need that. Look at the bunny skittles, they're cute, yeah, aren't they? <laughs> oh, look at that. I love that cake stand. Oh, that's that's really cute. Three pounds. I know Mark's mum's making some Easter cakes. That's really pretty. Got all different colours. They've got a green one as well. Two pound club card price. I like the neutral colour bunny. Five pounds. That's really nice, isn't it? Is that a candle? Yeah. See, the pot's too nice to throw away afterwards. You'd have to use it for something, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd have to clean it out. Got a fish finger wrap. Michelle's gone for sourdough, cheese, toast, even ham. Is that right? Yeah, cheese and ham, which I'm And tea. Really and some tablets. <laughs> <laughs> Always. I'm home. I am cream crackered, right? Just charging my battery up. 
I did three supermarkets for you. I know I had rests in between, but that was a lot. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll just do two. <laughs> we had to have a drink in the last one because we were just so tired. But, well, I was anyway. <laughs> yeah, it, it was really good. It was interesting. I think you're going to find the vlog interesting to see the different clothes and the different prices and the different range of things that are on offer. But it was a lot. Anyway, I thought I'd show you some bits that I got in Tesco's and Astra actually. Tesco's, I got this game for Easter Sunday. Easter bunny ring toss. <laughs> so it's a blow up bunny and then you get these plastic rings that, there's the blow up bunny look. And then you get four plastic rings so you've got to try and hook it over the bunny's ears. And I thought, well I can keep that for the future you know like every Easter we can play that that was £3.50 I couldn't leave this one behind you may have seen this in the vlog but it's a bit twisted I think she might have to go next to Martha Mouse so she needs a name now I, I haven't got a name that's springing to mind yet when I look at her so um if you think of one, actually one name has come to mind, but yeah, leave in the comments below what you think our bunny should be called. But yeah, I think I'm going to put her with Martha Mouse because she was just adorable. They had the little boy one as well, but they were 3 97 each, so I thought I'm not going to buy two. <laughs> and then this is the 0% gin that I have, Gordon's Alcohol Free Premium Pink Gin. And it tastes just like gin and lemonade. And this is what's getting me through <laughs> the evenings when I've been stressed about my mum and dad and I want to drink, but I don't want to drink during the week. I have one of these. And I don't think it's very calorific. Let me see. So for six calories, it's got six calories in this, like per serving, not for the whole thing, but six calories a, a glass. So, and I have that with diet lemonade. And then what I got in Asda, Mark's mum and dad, if you're watching, skip forwards, please. This was for Mark's dad for Father's Day. So I got this. Look at that. This was £9. I just thought that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I said to Michelle, I'm just worried they're not going to, it's just going to go. So I got it when I saw it, just... So then I know I've got it. <laughs> anyway, another thing that's come is my Shein order. So I'm going to show you that before I collapse on the sofa. I'm still feeling um, muggle sick. I've taken an echinacea. I've taken, I'll show you what I, what I got. So this is the spray. First defence helps stop a cold in its tracks. I write my name on the side because Mark's got one as well. And you put the spray up each, each nostril. It's not very pleasant and it does hurt my sinuses. But if it stops my cold, then I'm all for it. And then this is the Echinacea that I take three times a day just to try and stop, stop this cold. But I can do with taking some more paracetamol, actually. Right, let's go and see what is in the Shein order. But I am not trying it on today because that will finish me off. Okay. This is my Shein order, so let's go through it. First, I've got some hair accessories that I um, spotted. Their hair accessories on Shein are so cheap. Like these, I can't even get into it. These were about £1.90 each because I applied a voucher. If I can find all this stuff, I will link it in the description. I, it's not affiliate. I don't get paid for this. Um, so don't feel compelled to buy anything. You should never feel compelled to buy anything. But just so that you know, <laughs> this is my money I've bought all this with. So it's this gorgeous green slide that I thought when I have a piece at the back and wear something that's green, that would look really nice. I really love that. It's very smooth. So that's the first thing. I bought now this one 
was inspired by a woman I saw in the street. And I thought, where did you get that clip? Hang on, I'm going to open it and get back. Now, I don't know if it was this exact one that she had in, but it was something very similar with the big pearls on. And it just looked so nice. So I thought, yes, I'm going to get one of those and <laughs> and put that in my hair at some point. So I really like that. And again, it was like it worked out one about one pound ninety. And then the third, it's not an accessory. These are quite everywhere at the moment, but they're thin little brushes that you clean with. And they, these were literally one pound something. Again, not very dear but I'll show you where I want it for so oh it's very very uh, stiff brushes and they're very thin can you see that and you get a set of three let's go into the ensuite and where I wanted it for was for in this bit in the toilet you know where you can't reach can you see like that bit there so that's where I got these for and you can like do around the taps and in little nooks and crannies so they're brilliant they will go in my cupboard under the sink in the kitchen and they will be used for a lot of things funny enough I was just talking to Michelle that I'd ordered some of these they're very creased I'll have to give them a wash if they're all right but these are cargo trousers and I just fancied them for a change. I thought in the summer it would be nice with like a vest top tucked in. I got these, was it a 2XL I think I got in these. I don't even know where the label is but I'm sure I got a 2XL in these because I went by waist measurements. Um, and they're quite thin so they'd be nice for the summer. And you could wear like black or white with these or grey because they're a nice khaki colour and they've got like a drawstring waist so like I said I'm not trying it on today I'm absolutely shattered I will try it on another day unfortunately it won't go with the green clip but it'll go with that one so I got this cardigan this long cream cardigan look how pretty that knit is on the arms to go with these trousers I thought that would look really nice. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but it's very, very soft. It's got quite a few threads on it, but they're just loose. That one's got a bit of a pull there. I can pull that back in. But it's it's nice actually because it's not it's nice and thin, but it would keep you warm, like in the summer when it's a, like a chilly evening or a chilly day. And I just thought it would look nice over the top of these or with anything really. You could wear leggings, jeans, anything. And I like the colour, the, the uh, ecru. The last one I've just tried on for you because it's a coat. <laughs> and I got this in a 2XL. I was looking for a navy trench coat, but I couldn't find one. And I found this green one and thought, yes, I like... I love the khaki as well and this worked out like £16 something like that but it's very thin material which is good for the spring summer when you don't want a thick coat um, it just does double breasted at the front and then it has this tie but unfortunately no pockets <laughs> and that's a big downfall with me because you know you've got to have a pocket in a coat surely why would you not put a pocket in a coat? But anyway, I still like it. I still, I still like it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sold on this one. So this one might be going back because it's, I haven't put that on properly, look. <laughs> and the arms are quite short on it as well. And I like a long arm on a coat. So I might still have to look for my trench coat because I think this one, it's just not, not the thing I was looking for. I mean, it, it goes quite long. And like I say, I like the colour. But not to have a pocket. And to be thin and not long enough on the arms. Hmm. Don't. I know it's only £16. But it's still £16 that I think. Nah. 
Hello, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, in it? <sighs> I'm still feeling a bit muggle sick. I have taken my nasal spray thing, first defence. I've taken my echinacea. Well, I'm about to take my echinacea because I'm going to have a hot cross bun and a cup of tea. But I've still got like the scratchy throat. So I know it's, it's just a cold that I've probably picked up from the hospital because last night... I spoke to my, let me put you down because it's too heavy. Um, last night I spoke to my stepmum and she is ill as well with a cold. So I reckon we picked it up at the hospital because it's so warm in there. But I'm trying desperately to not be muggle sick. And I was supposed to be seeing my mum today and my dad. But Mark is going to go and see my dad later after work because visiting is till 8 o'clock. So it gives me a bit of a break today. I can have a rest. And then I've got to go and drop something off at my mum's for her. And drop something off at my stepmum's because it's her birthday on Thursday. I'm going to go and do that later just to have a little drive out. But that's all I'm doing today. Today was going to be a really busy visiting day and i'm kind of glad it's not <laughs> don't get me wrong i love seeing my dad and i love seeing my mum but when you're feeling poorly and chronically ill you just want to rest i just want to crash out and watch a netflix film or something that's all i want to do sunday we've got easter sunday we've got every, all the family round it's going to be a really lovely day but it's supposed to rain so we're going to put the gazebo up do Easter egg hunts, all of the good stuff. We're going to have a barbecue in the rain. Of course we are. Um, <laughs> when, when I said to um, my stepdad, John, I said, oh, we're going to do a barbecue. He said, oh, that's going to rain then. He said, if, if the Lord's do a barbecue, it rains. And he's not wrong. It does, every time. We are taking Iny, the rat, to the vets this afternoon. I'm going with Holly at Hubbers 4 because we're going to have him put down. If the vet agrees, which I know they will, because he can hardly stand up now. And he's just not... We thought he'd give in, but he hasn't. So we need to give him a helping hand, unfortunately. So we're going to do that this afternoon. And then tomorrow, because I haven't got anything on, I do need some more bird seed. So Holly's working at the garden centre. I'm going to pop over and we're going to. she can choose a pot again and a plant to bury Einstein. And... Then I need to get the bird seed, so I thought oh, I'll do that tomorrow and just have a really nice, another relaxing day. That's as far as I've got this morning. My neck is now killing me. I am going to sit and watch something on the telly and get the vlog up ready for tomorrow. But yeah, that's as, as far as I've got. It takes so long because there's so little, the little bits that have to be painted and eventually it's got to look like this they do that day it's tuesday evening 10 past six um we took Iny to the vets and had him put down like i said um obviously holly was very upset but it's the right thing to do he didn't have a quality of life anymore and i didn't want him to suffer so there we go so this picture I'm going to attach here is before Einie was put down, it's not after he's put down, it's like Holly saying goodbye to him so I thought I'd put that in because that's quite a special photo. Um, I'm just trying to cook dinner. Mark's gone to see my dad for me because I haven't been up to it today, I haven't felt well all day, I've just been taking paracetamol every four hours and not doing much on the sofa really. So the vet was so lovely, the vet was really really good and he said you spend as much time as you want with him but I think we'd already both said our goodbyes anyway and he seemed so sleepy, you'll see in that photo he was so sleepy but anyway it's all done now so go and see Podrick Iney and have as much banana as you want because you deserve it and thank you for a wonderful two years both Iney and Podrick They've been brilliant pets and we've loved them. A lot of people don't like rats and when Holly first told me she was getting rats, I'm like, oh my God. But do you know what? They've been adorable. 
I've loved them so much. So thank you, boys, because you've made my life even more special. And now we're left with Artie, the tortoise, and Skip and Chip, the guinea pigs in the shed. <laughs> So we've still got some pets left. I mean, Artie will go on for years, won't he? But, um, oh, dinner. Look, look at the absolute state of me. Look at the absolute state. <laughs> I'm in a vest top because I'm sweating buckets. Partly hyperhidrosis, partly being muggle sick. I've got no makeup on. I look like I've been punched in the eyes 20 times and my hair looks crap. Apart from that, it's all going really well. Now, happy towel wash Wednesday. Towels aren't on yet, because I'm muggle sick. I'm getting round to it. Don't come for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. Right, I wanted to say, I'm not sponsored by Shein. Wish I was. You've got to have 20,000 subscribers to be sponsored by Shein. And Hello Fresh. What a joke that is. Anyway. <laughs> Um, these brushes that I got from Shein that were like literally one or two pounds I've just found other than the cleaning the back of the toilet with them this isn't the one that I clean I haven't cleaned the toilet with them yet by the way just you know and I have got three <laughs> I've just found another way you can use these I mean you can use them everywhere but I had this crevice in here that was absolutely filthy and I managed to get the brush in, get it all clean. It's been bothering me for so long that. Oh, and I've just thought of another one actually as well. Don't judge my oven, okay? <laughs> but in here as well, this bit in here, it would be perfect for cleaning that bit as well. Thin brushes, I think you can get them off of TikTok shop as well. I think I've seen them on TikTok shop, so you probably get them on eBay, Amazon, anywhere, but the thin brushes are very, very good. Anyway, today's plan is as follows. I actually put some makeup on my face so I don't look like I'm dying. Then put the towels on. Then I want to sort out Holly's room a little bit. I've started um, putting things away from he, uh, Einstein's cage, like putting them in a black sack because she's not getting any more rats and we can't donate the stuff that was in that because it's all been eaten basically so I've been black sacking that and Mark said leave the actual cage he's going to empty that when he comes home from work and then we're going to build the new unit which I will show you later Einstein is going to be buried later so I'm, I'm go I haven't got a car today because it's been service so I'm going to go on my scooter that Mark's left on the drive for me when it's going to pour down with rain, about half past two, Holly said, and meet her at the garden centre, choose a pot and stuff, put that in her car, and then when she's finished work, she's going to come back and we're going to bury Einstein next to Podrick. And then she's going to get two little plaques made up with Podrick and Einstein on, so and their photos. So that would be really lovely. And then when she moves one day, she can take the pots with her. But in the meanwhile, they can stay in our garden with Evie and Toffee and Alice the guinea pigs. <laughs> We've got like a pet cemetery going on out there. It's a bit like that um, Stephen King novel, Pet Cemetery. Not that I've read it. Don't really want to read it now either. That's my plan today. Other than that, not doing a lot because I was going to film a 5 row section, but I don't think I could fit it in. I think I need to give myself a break on filming Wednesday uploads for a bit because I have actually filmed one this week, haven't I, with Michelle. I panic. I do panic about Wednesday uploads. I think, have I got enough? Because I like to have two or three in the bag at all times. There's nothing worse than getting to that week of the Wednesday upload thinking I've got nothing to upload. I, ne I need to have things in the bag because if I have flare ups, if I get muggle sick, if anything happens, then it doesn't matter because I've got a few there because I hate to disappoint anyone, you know? I think you can quite safely say that I am a consistent regular uploader with my vlogs. <laughs> That's what I try to do. Um, I mean, there might be a time one day when I can't upload on a Wednesday or, you know, for some reason. And for that, I will obviously inform you. But at the moment, and I do, I think about doing a live again soon because I did that one live 
a while ago now and it went really well and I think everyone enjoyed it and I enjoyed talking to you all so what do you think about me doing another live one Wednesday um, in the future let me know in the comments if you'd like that right I'm in my super grover <laughs> heading to Holly's garden centre and I'm freezing I'm absolutely freezing <laughs> And I'm praying it's not going to rain because I'm already cold enough. But there we are. Let's go and choose a pot and a plant for Iny and try not to freeze. Right, we're looking at pots. I'm here. I've had a cup of tea and warmed up. Do you think it should be white like Iny? Oh, yeah, it can be. What's this one? Half marked price. It's got an unusual top, but it's got a bit of a chunk out of it. Hang on. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let me come and have a look. Oh. Oh. That's half price, 20 pound. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect, won't it? That's a nice one. How much is that? 40? 44. 44. Yeah, that is very nice actually. You get 20% off. Right, Holly's uh, fed and watered me. I had tea and cake. Thank you, Holly. And then we went out and we've got the pot. We, had, we bought a really nice white one, the last one you saw. Because the other one had a crack in it, the one that was for sale. And it's got to last because Holly's going to be taking them with her one day. I am absolutely froze still. And it's just going to absolutely bucket it down. So I'm going to go at full rate of knots back home. Good morning. Happy weird Thursday. Um, sun's shining at the moment, but it's supposed to rain later. I think it's going to rain all next week as well, which is typical because Poppy's coming. We've got so much we want to do. So to have it rain all week will be not the best. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd show you Einstein's pot. Here we go. So this is the one that we chose from the garden centre that you might have seen and that's the plant we chose. Don't ask me what plant it is but it's I know it's evergreen and it has little pinky purpley flowers. It's got lots of buds on there already. So Ainie's in there and that's where Podrick is so Holly's going to get a plaque made up for both of them. And there we go. That's their final resting place. I think they they look good because they obviously represent what colour they both were so that's that's nice many hours later guess what i forgot to take you with me so <laughs> i went and had lunch with donna let me put you in the cupboard we went to pizza express no we didn't we went to pizza hut and we had the lunch deal thing i saw dad first and um yeah I swear he saves all his anger and frustration up for me because whenever I go in, I always get it all. <laughs> Which is fine because he's got to vent somehow and I'd rather he vented on me than the nurses. Um, but he probably does both to be honest. But yeah, he just, he wants to go out and we are still waiting for a place in a nursing home for him. He needs a one-to-one -one nurse. Uh, 24 7 so and a ground floor room he doesn't understand he thought I had an iron bar in my dress he thought there was a horse going along the ward so I mean it would, wouldn't be as bad if he was just in his own little world but he's also in this frustrated I want to get out world so it's very very hard but anyway I am going to show you a couple of things that I got when I was out with Donna. Sorry I didn't take you with me, but it was I was just trying to think of everything I needed to take for Dad and do and I forgot to pick the camera up. I can't find any more mini eggs. I think they've all been sold. So for Lucy Rabbit, I got two packets of uh, Terry's chocolate orange mini eggs because... Bobby obviously is coming back tomorrow and I know she'll be going diving in Lucy Rabbit as Mark does. 
Also, has anyone tried this chocolate? I think it's a knockoff of Toblerone. It's called Twin Peaks. It's from Poundland. And I'm sure I've had it before and it was nice. But anyway, I bought this for me and Mark to share with a cup of tea tonight because why not? This is the toothpaste I use, by the way, in case you're interested. Colgate Max White Stain Guard. I think it's about £2.50. And I've been getting Poppy some little snacks ready for her room and she loves crisps if you remember so I bought these two little t things of Pringles and she's a girl for a novelty drink and she loves these mini diet cokes so I got her it was three for a pound I think so I've got three of those I'm going to put them in the fridge in the garage and I need to show you as well a plant I got because let me put the light on because it's a bit dark in the hall this plant here look at it it's on its last legs and it's because there's there's hardly any light in the hall so it's just it's it's not <laughs> not gonna thrive and I've tried to keep it going and I've just got this one I won't dump it yet because it's still got you know but yeah so what I did instead was I got this fake one because the fake one is not going to die in the shade in the hall and this was six pounds in this little black and white pot that I thought was quite cute and I like the fact that it's got stones in the top some of them just had the polystyrene and I didn't like the look of that so this one's got the stones in the top and this was from Dunelm and the last thing I want to show you is my friend Donna who I just had lunch with has given me her book dead in the water she said she thinks i've read it but i don't think i have i've read her hunted series which i've got here so this is all available on amazon if you're interested i'll try and link it for you in the description um but yeah she's a she's a very good author i'll link them all in the description for you uh jason wade is an east end boxer turn police crime scene investigator so i think it's more of a a crime thriller story but it looks good anyway so if you're interested go and grab yourself one i also remember that i was going to show you holly's unit that we built so here we go this is where her little ratters were and that is the new unit so these are just they're all empty at the moment because she can fill them with whatever she wants to fill them with but this is what we got from ikea when we went um i'll link that vlog in the description if you haven't seen it but yeah and there's mr arty sunbathing under his lamp <laughs> you're right there are plus at some point we need to get holly some new curtains because the rats kind of they ate her curtains <laughs> So I do need to get her some new ones. I think she's after like a minty green colour, like this colour, for some curtains. So I will look out for that. Right, I'm going to love and leave you there for this week. Hope you have enjoyed this weekly. Oh, and quickly, someone asked me how I was getting on with the mattress protect, not protect, so the mattress topper that I put on for my hip and back pain. Still don't like it very much, but we're we're trying to break it in. I mean, you shouldn't have to break in a mattress topper, should you? But you can't take it back, so I'm trying to get used to it. But I think it has helped my hip and back pain a little bit. But I've been waking up because I've got the sore throat. So until the sore throat goes, I don't know if it's hip or whatever pain is waking me up. Anyway, thought I'd update you. I'm, I'm sticking with it, but it's not the best. <laughs> anyway... I hope you'll have a lovely Easter weekend, whatever you choose to do and however you choose to celebrate it and I will look forward to seeing you all next Wednesday and then the following Saturday for the weekly. Take care, leave me a nice comment and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. See you later, bye!